All right, you guys, I just want to give you a little bit of an update since uh, I haven't posted in a while. I haven't driven this truck much at all in the last month. At the end of July, my radiator failed. Um, it just got a little bit of a pinhole down in there somewhere. I'm not really surprised because it is the original radiator as far as I know. So um, I've been wanting to go for a, go with an aluminum radiator for a while now. So I guess it's finally time to do that. I don't know if I'll go with a, a two or a three row. Uh, get a good size aluminum radiator in there. Uh, I haven't had any overheating problems. I still want to go aluminum because it gets warm at an idle. You know, when you're sitting in traffic. Uh, if it's over 90 degrees out. Which it does get up to every once in a while around here. That's why I haven't been driving it. I haven't done any videos with it. Um, and while I got it in the shop, since I need to take the radiator out anyway, I am going to throw this. I got a um, Comp Cams. I don't even remember what it is anymore. I ordered this so long ago. It's a Comp 268. Um, I think it's a four, yeah, 456 lift. With my rockers, I think it'll be up closer to 500 on the lift. Um, hoping that helps out a little bit. But I'm gonna throw that in there right away. I'm debating throwing a head gasket on it too, just for fun. Uh, I wanna pull the intake manifold off anyway and um, block off the heat riser on the exhaust manifold because my intake manifold gets super hot. Um, but yeah, it's all just gonna be one big project. The reason I haven't tackled it yet is because I've had some other projects going on. Uh, I've had a Volvo in here. And uh, I wasn't ready to scrap the car yet, even though it had plenty of miles. It had 254,000, I think. It, it ran and drove great. Had plenty of power. Uh, I wasn't ready to throw it away yet, though. And I, I went online, I went on Facebook Marketplace, and I found another one identical to it, same color and everything, for $500 it had been totaled. It was wrecked in the front, and it only had 85,000 miles, and uh, it had zero rust. So I went and picked that up for $500. I, I dragged that one home and I started taking them both apart. Um, yeah, so I've been working on that for about a month and I finally got it up and going. So here's what it currently looks like. And uh, I'll drop a picture of what it looked like when I brought it home. And here's what the old one looks like. You see, I got a pile of parts. This is all the stuff that I took off the old one, put on the new one. This is the original one. I had it for about know, five years. I bought it when I was 16. Yeah, it was blowing away all the dipstick. Blew the coolant cap off. Um, it got really, really, really hot. But it was a good car. Probably the best car I've ever owned. I, I bought it on online auction for $1,100. And uh, I put probably 50 or 60,000 miles on it the time I had it. It got me to college and back for two years and got me to work and back for another year. And, and now I got myself a commuter car that gets 30 miles per gallon. But I just thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an update about why I haven't been posting and why I haven't been driving my truck around. But uh, thanks for watching. Next time you see me, I'll be putting a cam in. Thanks for watching Wasted Paycheck Garage.